Hey everybody, let's talk about an example of coastal management that is using science and trying to test a new path forward. So this is an example of an experimental um, approach to management. In this case, I'm sitting here in about a uh, half meter of water just off from that structure over there, which is um, the uh, city of Palo Alto's sewage treatment plant. So I'm in East Palo Alto in the Baylands Preserve. I'm out here in the, in the marsh. And so what we're looking at right here is we're at very high tide. We're about a plus seven foot right now. And so this is a main tidal channel. So out to here is the San Francisco Bay. So all out uh, as we go forward is, um, is wetland transitioning into open bay. Behind me is all the, the terrestrial area of Silicon Valley, etc. So um, the question here is, uh, so you can see right now, I'm at, I'm at seven, I'm gonna put the phone almost into the water. So seven feet of elevation is getting fairly close, right? So we have another about, oh, I'd say about five feet or so there of, of protection. And then there's another little wall and it's a little bit higher. But, you know, we're talking, we have, you know, at this elevation on just a regular old fall day, we have, uh, you know, a little bit of freeboard, a little bit of area to accept higher water levels, but not a whole lot. And as we have more and more climate changes, we have more and more sea level rise, that water is going to get even closer. So the idea here is can some infrastructure we can move in the case of sea level rise and that kind of stuff. Other things we can't. And this sewage treatment plant would be really, really hard to move. So the idea is can we protect this and can we protect it more responsibly? So we're in the, getting ready to build a um, green infrastructure. So not concrete and stone, but a living, so a berm, a, a so-called horizontal levee. So a, a raised area of soil planted with natives to give greater protection. In addition, where I'm standing, uh, right over here, we have a lot of discharge pipes. So normally the, the treated sewage water comes out, goes into the surface channel, and then that joins the main channel, and that joins out into the San Francisco Bay. Instead, after this project, in addition to raising the, the elevation of the protective um, buffer between the water and the plant, we're also going to be undergrounding the discharge pipe. So we're gonna be making a leach field out here. So now the, the, the treated water is gonna go through soil and plants before it gets out here. So we're out here, um, uh, monitoring for, with a whole bunch of partners here, monitoring to look at the microplastics, to see if this is also gonna help reduce the amount of microplastics that are going to the surface water. But also we hope to see improvements in terms of like nutrients, reduced nitrogen, reduced phosphorus, et cetera. So an example of a management activity that's hopefully gonna add greater physical protection, but also greater protection to the ecosystem. And at the same time, we're gonna be improving the trails so better recreational opportunities for the public. So an example of a, and now this is only a small section, we're not doing like miles and miles. So this is an experimental test. If this works, then we can begin to try this approach in other areas of the Bay and elsewhere. So coastal management here in the south part of San Francisco Bay, the horizontal levee project of the city of Palo Alto with all kinds of great stuff just about to start.